Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see from the title below, today's video is going to be my monthly subscription box from the Glossy Box. That's how it looks like. Um, for those of you who don't know what Glossy Box is, you can go back to my previous video about my Glossy Box subscription and find out more how to subscribe and what's included inside as well. So I would like to introduce to you the new products I got in my July box. Um, so if you'd like to see what's included, please keep on watching. So this month's glossy box is no different to the previous uh, glossy box. There's no themed edition about it and it's just the original glossy box box which is in pink. So I can't wait to see what's inside. I'm going to open. So the first thing as usual I see when I open up is my intros and my briefly um, leaflet of what's included in my glossy box for the month. So and they have also included a Dear Glossies uh, how to nourish your skin from inside and out and there's a nice recipe at the back which I'm probably gonna try I'm up for new recipes and also this is a voucher for winning a tickets for the open air, um, open air cinema in different locations uh, Covent Garden, Tower of, uh, Tower of London uh, Hampton Court Palace, there's different locations so I might apply for that, we'll see so as you can see my glossy box is closed I'm just going to open and see what the first product is and I'm going to also follow my brief ooh, loads of nice things this month um, so the first product I see on my brief and in my box uh, it's the Nourishing Night Cream by Uton and Tone. I believe this is a gradual self tan product which you can wear during the night. Let me open this. There's no colour to the product but I'm sure they will be when I wake up in the next morning so this is a gradual town in 25ml by Uton and Tom they say it's conditioning and also it has a cocktail of vitamins and uh, antioxidants to help the skin repair which sounds good um, and it also won't leave a stain on your pillows which is I guess another good thing because you don't want to wake up with a brown pillow um, so I'll definitely give that a try and that's a quite nice sample size uh, for me to try before I actually buy the big size the next thing in my glossy box is my Hawaiian Tropic Iceland lip gloss with SPF 25 which looks like this um, I know the range from Hawaiian they do really nice uh, body oils I've never tried their lip glosses because I've never seen them in uh, before um, but I like the idea it has SPF 25 inside which will protect my lips on the beach mmm smells amazing so I'll just show you how the formula looks there's no much of a colour to it um, it's just to give you some protection I guess and some moisture to the lips so that's definitely a must on the beach I will try that one and the next thing on my glossy box is the Icona Milano Emotion Allowed Mascara wow Emotion Allowed sounds very good um, so this is a volumized oh this is a waterproof volume mascara which looks like this so it says there's smudgeless I would assume when it says there's waterproof 
it's waterproof. So the brush looks like this. It's not a huge brush, which I like. Um, definitely up for new mascaras. I like to try any and I'll give that a go. So the next thing, ooh, the next tea is by Heron and it's the Detangle Brush for hair. This is a really, really good brush if you have really messy big hair. Uh, it's not that I have really big hair, but when it's wet, it can get very messy. So I like the idea, it doesn't tangle my, my hair. Um, it's just to really help get brushed up when it's wet. So this is definitely something I'm using from now on. And thanks so much Glossy for sending me this, this is amazing. I didn't have one of these and hey, it's new to my collection. Um, the last thing in my glossy box is the Black Canvas F20 flat brush, um, which looks like this. So this is a Black Canvas Cosmetics, I've never heard of them. Um, this is the first time I'm receiving something from them as well in my glossy box. Um, but I like the brush, by the looks, it's, it seems like a good brush, which I'm going to use. Um, it's a pink one and it's a flat uh, synthetic brush which is good for uh, powder products or cream products. I like to use these sort of brushes for my foundation. So definitely a really, really good product. product. Definitely a really good tool for my makeup. Um, so that concludes everything in my glossy box this month. There were five products included, so there's no additional six products this month. Uh, but that's fine, I can take that. Um, I'm loving this month's glossy box. It's absolutely amazing. Everything's so useful. I'm going to use every single one of those products. And I can't wait for next month's um, glossy box, which... I'm going to see a MUA um, eyeshadow palette which I already picked up my shade. Um, they sent me an email about my obviously what colour eyeshadows I want. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to next month's glossy box. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you are, please give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. And see you next time. Bye!